And we have a 2004 Cadillac CTS with a 3.6 V6 variable valve timing engine. A beautiful engine with tons of horsepower. Isaiah is going to let us know why the vehicle is here. Yep. So customer request just came in and said, hey, I just want my belt replaced. That's it. So I said, okay. Brought it in. Noticed the battery light was on. So I was all right. So it's obviously not charging the alternator. Uh, noticed the belt was just laying here in the engine bay. So okay. So they just want the belt replaced. So I go ahead and I notice the pulley's a little crooked here on this water pump. I've already removed the pulley. And I go over here to the bearing of the water pump and this is how much play it has. So that's definitely gonna cause your belt to fall off. Uh, at the same time, I noticed the coolant reservoir was empty. Um, it wasn't actually leaking from the bearing area. What was happening is, so I marred up the back of this pulley is, it was actually hitting the back of these bolts and causing them to loosen over time. And it was actually leaking from the seal, dumping out underneath the car. Will it, will it need anything more than just a water pump at this point? Uh, we're also recommending the pulleys themselves, bolt tensioners, because it has two separate belts, and the idler pulley. Um, it's up to the customer at this point, but we definitely recommend that. Well, thank you very much for showing us what happened to this vehicle, where the customer request was to replace a serpentine belt. Yeah, and just to add on, if you ever hear any sort of grinding or whirling noise underneath your engine bay, don't ignore it.